Hello, Leos. Welcome to your December 2023 bonus reading. And if you are not new here, welcome back, Dragons, as per. Always a pleasure to have you here. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Violet Alexis. I am a professional tarot reader and studying to become a professional Western astrologer. Make sure that you guys are checking for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements so that way you can get a full picture of what may be transpiring for you in the month of December. So uh, if you guys do want to book a personal reading with me, violettealexis.com is where you can do so. Follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. Um, and make sure that you guys subscribe, like the video, comment, let me know how you believe this, how this may or may not play out for you in the month of December. And also uh, just a gentle reminder to hit the little notification bell so that way you guys can get notified every time I go live or <laughs> every single time I post a video. I love you guys and let's go ahead and get started. Show me Leo. Show me Leo for the month of December. The shadow self in reverse. That's interesting. With the five of cups. Don't do that. Don't be too nicey nice. I feel like there's a power that you're suppressing. The star in reverse tells me that in November you had a little bit of a lost hope or a lack of healing in a certain direction or maybe there's something you didn't want to share with others. The temperance in the near future is telling me something's a little bit out of balance or out of alignment that you need to kind of uh, make progress towards. The emperor, think that you want to be the boss or you may already be the boss but you keep suppressing your power because you're letting some old past disappointment get the worst of you. Uh, the karmic, re yep, the karmic, you told you, the karmic release in reverse for what's going on in your heart space. There's something that's open-ended when it comes to your heart where you're still kind of in pain over something. And then for your advice, we do have the Queen of Cups listening to your heart space. I want to say don't suppress it and don't ignore it. Um, I think that at this time, you're definitely going to need to listen to what's going on in your heart space. A little bit of uh, sensitivity, I think, for yourself can go a long way. You could also have like a female friend here um, who's going to play an important role or uh, a lover of some sort. The, what did I say? Then we have the Queen of Swords here. So I feel like you have maybe uh, a friend, maybe a Libra specifically, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it could be a Libra. Or this is just also somebody who's been through a lot in their lives. And this is the type of person who is very wise, like they can teach you something. Somebody who's very logical, somebody who's quick witted, somebody who's quick with their words, you know, um, also somebody who's an initiator as well, because it's a cardinal sign. So I feel like you have a female influence here that's going to surprise you, I want to say. We have the world for your hopes and or fears. It's like you're wanting to finally have success in something and finally close something out, but you also know that you're going to have to let go of something else in order to have that. So I feel like that's where you are at with that. And then, wow, okay, good. So the Eight of Pentacles for your outcome tells me that you're working hard and you're working diligently. Um, I feel like there is maybe, maybe a writing project, maybe a business. You're about to catch something. You notice how this spider, he, he's going towards something, he's about to catch it. But it's because of your uh, progress that you've done before, right? What does a spider do? Well, he weaves the web. Why? So that way he can catch something. So you've been weaving your web for a while and I feel like you'll catch a butterfly. You know what I mean? And then uh, for the theme for your reading, which I'd like to look at now, we do have the chariot in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. There's something that you fear or maybe that you've put off that you don't really want to. This justice in reverse keeps showing up for everybody for some reason. There's something that you fear to go towards for whatever reason. And you know that you need to do it, but it's like the fear maybe that is the root of the problem or not taking the initiative or something makes you feel emotionally uncomfortable. So so it's like you're kind of putting it off in some way. So let's see what this is about. Without further ado, let's clarify these little looking cards, okay? So let's take a look for your energy for the month of December. We do have the shadow self, except it's in reverse. And it's being crossed by the five of cups, which is your challenge. So let's see what that's about. Nope. Last shuffle. The four of cups. Oh, Man, what is this about? The two of wands in reverse, the knight of swords. You know what this sounds like to me? Um, it sounds like you feel as though you can't speak your mind 
for whatever reason. I don't know if you feel rejected by something or someone, if you feel just shot down by life, but it's almost like you're forgetting who you are or it's like you're suppressing uh, your shadow self. Listen, everybody talks about you needing to do shadow work and they make it out, they make it like the shadow self is so bad, but the shadow can be your power. It's kind of like that bodyguard that you have, right? We all have that beast inside of us, but it doesn't mean that we always let it out. We keep it there for when we need it. And I feel like you forgot that you have a beast inside of you a little bit. You're thinking about the past. You're thinking about feeling rejected or you're feeling like you're not happy with uh, the options that you've had in life or the hand that you've been dealt, but the hand is yours. So you got to do something with it and you have no idea where it's going to take you. Um, so I kind of, I kind of, I want to say like don't jump to conclusions and um and and honor your beast you know honor your beast a little bit I think that it'll be healthy for you <laughs> then we have the star in reverse which was in the past so this is like kind of what was going on in November of 2023 let's see the ten of swords in reverse well you were having having a hard time overcoming something which definitely messed with your confidence I feel uh, I think that something kind of made you feel shut down in some way where you felt like maybe you had to start again maybe it was in regards to finances or maybe a job or just even in regards to like your reputation and what people think of you um, I want to say like be careful of the whole perfection mindset because that's what's going to kill your confidence you know feeling like you always have to be perfect or feeling like something has to be perfect or like you have to do or over give in this way where you have nothing left for yourself and you think that's going to make you feel accepted or make you feel loved by somebody when it's just not. Um, I think that less is more in this circumstance. You know what I'm saying? Um, because here you've kind of lost sight of yourself a little bit. You kind of forgot that you were a fucking a beast. You forgot you were a boss, at least in the in the past and even even now, you know, in the current circumstance in December, in December but you're going to learn real quick, right? <laughs> and so this is basically the sense of needing to evolve. Um, the star in reverse is also giving me Leo. Why? Because the star is Aquarius and the opposite sign of Aquarius is Leo. So when I see it in reverse, I, I kind of feel like this is about Maybe you were doing a lot for others, right? Aquarius is about the collective where Leo is more so about like self, right? What do I want? How do I want to express myself, right? So I feel like there is this evolutionary process you didn't realize you you were going through where you were putting everybody else first or something like that. And then you got to this point where you're like, you know what? What about what I want? And so that's where your confidence is going to come in. Not that you can't do for others, but this specifically, no. So then we have the temperance in the near future. Let's go ahead and take a look at the temperance in reverse in the near future. Tell me about that temperance. Okay, two cards wanted to come out. I'll take it. Ooh, the king of wands and the seven of cups. There's that star in reverse again, but there's the sun. What did I say? Oh my God, what did I say? There's the sun that's Leo and Aquarius, opposite signs. Oh my God, look at that. That's so crazy, right? Wow, how crazy is that? So the star is in reverse again, which is giving me Leo vibes, and Leo shows up. That God, you know, I just love it. Um, so yeah, in the future, you're realizing that something is out of alignment, something is not even, something is not equal, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to start to fantasize about myself. I'm going to start romancing my fucking life again. You know, that's what this looks like. It looks like you are romancing yourself, romancing. You're romanticizing yourself. You're taking yourself on dates and you may even put out, you know. <laughs> that's, what this, that's what this feels like a little bit. Um, I love this. I absolutely love this reading. It's literally just a confirmation of what I said. So then we have the emperor in your headspace for what's going on in December. Last shuffle. The five of swords in reverse. The devil and the four of wands in reverse. There's some kind of fear or something that's been holding you back. Something that has made you quite insecure. Um, where once again you forgot your beast, right? So let me kind of explain this. 
The four of wands in reverse is uh, can sometimes talk about our insecurities, like preventing us from doing something. So like if you want to be technical, right? Four of wands can be like going out, celebration. The four of wands in reverse can be like, I'm staying at home because I have a pimple on my nose. I don't want anyone to see me, right? So, But let's look at this with the devil being here. There's some kind of insecurity where you felt like you had to soften yourself to the point of losing your own power or draining your own power. But really, I feel like somebody was just sucking it from you possibly or that you were just simply giving it away. Don't forget about the beast. You know it's there. You know it's there because it's literally on your mind. You're like, I'm not playing these fucking games, right? It's like, I'm not playing these games. I know who I am. I know the power that I hold. This is about you thinking about how you can take it back. So you're in this energy in some way, um, you know, and the thing is, is that I understand that external circumstances happen, but we give our power away. We choose to do so. Even in horrifying circumstances, it's still a choice to do these things. As shitty as that sounds, you know, uh, if somebody bends our will enough, it's like, how far are you willing to bend? Eventually, everybody has a breaking point. At what part did you break and what caused that? What was the breaking point where you decided, okay, I need to give away my power? Kind of like when somebody gets tortured. What does it take? right? What does your damn hold? So then in the heart space, we have the karmic release in reverse. The nine of cups. Well, the nine of swords and the two of wands in reverse. What is all this fear about? Like, why are you so afraid to like make a decision or step out of line? Fucking step out of line, Leo. You know what I mean? Step out of line. Get a little saucy. You know what I mean? Like, I remember when I started tarot in 2021 and, you know, I used to wear pretty provocative things. And I still will, bitch. I don't care. You know, I'm a grown ass woman. I'm gonna do what I want. And I remember there was this one girl who was like, do you always have to show your cleavage on your tarot stream? So the next day I showed up in a live stream for all signs in a fucking bikini. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I absolutely did. It was great. <laughs> I showed up in a bikini. Sometimes you got to step out of line to let a bitch know, you know? And I hate to make it sound so trashy, but sometimes you have to step out of line because somebody else has. So it's like if you have a line in the sand and somebody steps a toe over your line, sometimes you got to step one over theirs and make somebody recognize who you are. And so I think that you know that there's something on an individual level. And I say that because nines are about individual, like individuality. Like if this is about you, what makes you content, what stresses you out. And so there's something kind of holding you back that is coming from a place of fear because the nine of swords isn't necessarily real. It's something that hasn't even happened. And whether it does or not, we have no idea, but it's what's causing you to like, uh, well, what if, you know, it's like, no. There's something that you're holding in your heart that you're having a hard time releasing. And the thing is, is about this card and this deck, this is actually a release that feels good. It's actually a positive release. So it's like, you know, maybe we, like I have a channel called Where Dead Flowers Bloom and it's a writing channel and I love it, right? I love doing those things. And what people don't realize, it's advertised on my channel, by the way. You can go look and just click on it and subscribe there. But I'll leave it in the description box below as well. Um, but this is like a good release. So on my, my writing channel, what I do, I'll go through something horrible and then I'll go and write something and then I'll put like video to it and I'll post it. Right. That's a good release. That feels good. This is like a good release, but it's in reverse. And what the ma this makes me feel like is you're afraid to release something because you feel like it's going to feel bad, but it's not because it's actually what you desire. You don't realize that right behind that release, right behind that dump that you need to take is the best time of your life, you know? And there's something that you're afraid to do. It's fear that's driving it. And you're like putting it off when you're going to realize after you do this, you're like, oh my God, I wish I would have done this sooner. So we have the Queen of Cups and this is for your advice. Yeah, look at that. I feel like you got some camaraderie with someone. Um, I think that, you know, this is kind of saying like no unwanted attention at this time, right? This is kind of telling you to take a back seat a little bit, take a back seat a little bit and hone in on your power and who you are, right? Who you authentically are because you are the one that has it. Um, with that Queen of Cups and that Three of Pentacles, I want you to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that make you feel emotionally secure, that are very nourishing. This is Cancer Energy. This is very like nourishing, nourishing, nourishing. This is the sign before you. So make sure that you're surrounding yourself. 
else, particularly with female companionship. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. So this is for external forces. Ooh, the Emperor in reverse. There's that Knight of Pentacles in reverse on the page. You know what this makes me feel like? I feel like this is somebody uh, that is advising you. Somebody who's giving you advice. Specifically on a relationship maybe. Because this is Venusian. This Queen of Swords. Um, or on how you can get your power back. I would listen to this person. So, so that way you know who this individual is. This is a feminine energy. This is somebody who's been through a lot of heartache. And now she or he is very focused on the mundane. Or not the mundane, but the 3D practical reality. Okay, how can I take this art and sell it, right? Um, how can I use my beauty and make it work for me, right? How can I um, maybe, you know, like... This is the type of person that may be very attractive and is like, well, I'm going to become a beauty influencer on Instagram. You know, this is like somebody who may be very business minded, very logical, somebody who gives very good advice. This is the person that's going to help you get your power back in some way and raise your confidence level instead of having you focus on perfection, perfection, and perfection. They're going to be like, no, like the, you're just going to do this. This is like somebody who uh, – uh, Venus is like a gift giver, right? This is somebody who like has a gift to offer. Maybe not like literally, but in the, you know what I mean? In the 5D sense. We have the world here. And now this is for your hopes and your dreams and your fears. The nine of wands. Well, you want to win, you know? Uh, but you, yo, yep. See, I told you. What did I say earlier? But you know that you have to let something go if you want the completion because we have the world here, right? We have the world here. You want to come out on top. You want to win. You want to get that. This is for you. Now we're talking about individuality again. And then we have the world in reverse with the Eight of Cups next to it. Well, what's the Eight of Cups? Well, uh, first of all, um, it is Saturn in Pisces. Um, if you are a Leo rising, you currently have Saturn transiting your eighth house, which is about others other people's money or just others in general. You may be needing to walk away from that. Um, it's something that's open-ended, and you may be realizing that you have to walk away from that, um, but once you do, you're going to realize how easy it is. Stop, think stop making it harder on yourself is what I want to say. I get it. I do get it, but you have to, you have to do this because it's for you. So now we have the Eight of Pentacles for your outcome. Sorry, I know that my <laughs> – you would never believe I was a Virgo, right? <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I'm not the best organizer, to be honest. Uh, I resonate more with my moon sign because I was born a night moon in Taurus. I am lazy as fuck. No, I'm just kidding. I'm also a hard worker. Anyway, this is not about me, right? Well, this reading is about being you and releasing the beast. Um, I just heard um, Jorah Mormont in Game of Thrones. He said... There's a beast in every man, and it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. There's a beast in every man, but it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. So, like, what's your sword? Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups in reverse. I find this interesting because this is what we started out with with your challenge, was the Five of Cups in the upright. So not letting go of something, feeling fucking sorry for yourself, feeling rejected or feeling like you're not good enough or whatever it is. You're going to find that the, the work that you actually put in is where your confidence is going to come from. The work that you are actually putting in in regards to your actual work, your day-to-day -day routine, your standards – um, not where you feel like something has to be perfect, but you just need to work on it, whatever it is. And you're going to realize that that is what is going to raise your self-esteem and self-confidence. And that is what is going to allow you to let go of something. So that way you can win. This is a win for you. You just have to choose you really at the end of the day. Now, ooh, direction. Okay. So this is making me feel like you need to go in a new direction. This is your advice. So you're needing to go in a new direction where a direction where maybe you have served another or have served others in the past. Now you need to follow your own guidance. <clears throat> um, I think that you need to be very focused at this time. 
And I think that you also need to stop putting something off out of a free, uh, out of fear or out of fear of losing it. Um, you need to take yourself where not only the wind takes you, but it's like you have to aim at something. You have to put yourself in a certain direction. You have to get your power back, but you can't be afraid of the beast that's within you or the uh, afraid of upsetting somebody or afraid of pushing some buttons or ruffling some feathers. I think that you need to ruffle some feathers, um, but first you're going to need to ruffle your own a little bit and the only way you're going to be able to do that is by letting go of what you're afraid to. So Leo, it was an absolute pleasure. If you would like, you can definitely book a reading with me at violettalexis.com. Also make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure that you like, share, and comment on this video. It definitely helps with the algorithm. And if you have not, make sure that you're going ahead and pressing the little notification bell so that way you can get notified every time that I go live or every time I post a video. Thank you so much, Leo, and the absolute best to you. Bye.